everyone. I'm so happy you're here. If you don't know who I am, my name is Allison and I'm an oil painter. After three whole weeks of being away from YouTube, I am so happy to be back and I cannot wait to be making more videos for you guys. If you're new here and you like art, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's get started with the day. So for the last month, I have been painting like crazy and preparing for an art fair that's in two days. So I have a lot of paintings that I need to wire and frame. So I have this piece here, which is called Taking Flight. And I will probably have a time lapse of this piece up um, sometime in July. And here I have a staple gun. Um, so that I can put staples in here to hold the painting in. This piece is now framed. One down, seven more to go. Next is this piece here called Calm in the Chaos and it has silver leaf. And I'll probably have a time lapse of this piece sometime in July. This is my favorite part of the whole process is taking off the tape and um, revealing the wood and it's just so beautiful. So this is all I have left to frame and I only have this much wire left so I need to go to town and get some more. This little magnolia piece looks so cute on this easel right here. So for this piece, I cut out the painting into an oval shape to fit the frame. And then I also cut out an oval shape and, and some mat board. And I then stapled and some staples to hold it in. I'm just loving how it looks right now. I think it's just so pretty. All right, so these are the only two paintings I have left to wire for the art fair. But since I'm out of wire now, I think I'm going to instead wait until tomorrow when I get more wire. So now I'm going to do my last layer of varnish for this piece here. I'll give you a closer look at it. I painted this piece to enter into an art show called Flora and Fauna at the Alexi Era Gallery in Oregon. And um, yeah, I really like it. I, it has some silver leaf right here and two rosy maple moths. I just entered into it yesterday and I find out tomorrow if I got in or not so keep watching this vlog to find out if I got in because I will let you know. I usually do two layers of varnish on paintings and I've already done the first layer so I have one more layer to go. I'm varnishing by the window because it's super dark 
in my studio if you haven't noticed and I like to varnish where the light is because I can easily see any pools I need to fix and any dust or cat hair that's in my varnish I can easily get out so first I am just brushing away any dust or cat hair um, from the painting so I always put the varnish in this container right here instead of pouring it directly on my painting because I've had times where I poured way too much and my paintings never <laughs> recovered from their tackiness. And I do add a touch of Gamsol in it. And this is my brush I use specifically for varnishing. I don't use it for anything else. And here is the varnished piece. I will have a time lapse of this painting here probably in like July sometime and I will explain more about my process and um, more just more in general about the piece. exciting news. This piece here got accepted into the Alexi Era Gallery in Oregon. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm really excited and thankful for this opportunity and I can't wait to show you more about this painting. I will have a time lapse of it probably sometime in July and I'll explain more about the piece and my thoughts behind it. Now I need to wire this piece and get it ready to ship. I probably won't show myself wiring it because you probably got enough of me wiring paintings. Um, but I will kind of show you how I package paintings. So I have my box and I have some um, bubble wrap and some tissue paper. So I'll start with this and usually I First wrap my painting with some tissue paper. If I am mailing this to a customer, I will wrap it more pretty, <laughs> um, like with some washi tape and stuff, but I'm not going to bother doing that if I'm going to send it to this gallery. The art fair went very well. Um, I think for my first art fair it was a good experience. I learned a lot and I met a lot of nice people. During the art fair I totally forgot to take some footage of it for this vlog. So instead somewhere on the screen I will have some footage from my Instagram stories and my Facebook live. It was a fairly small art fair. I think there were only like 30 booths there and it was slow at times but I feel like for my first art fair it was a good experience. My main goal was to have people join my newsletter. That way I can continue to connect with them after the art fair especially if they really do like my art. I feel like I was really successful with that. I had a good amount of email signups and I can't wait to connect with those people. I also learned that I look way younger than what I really am, I guess, because I had a lot of people ask me if I'm selling these paintings for my mom and I'm like, 
No, they're my paintings. So that, that was kind of funny, but I think they just wanted to strike a conversation with me, so it's all good. So now that the art fair is over and my stress is finally starting to dissolve, I am back on YouTube and I'm so happy to see you guys. And I will have a time lapse for you next week and I'll have a peony tutorial for you probably in like two weeks. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Bye!